Hello, you guys. Our big boy is outgrowing the best in it, which is so crazy. It literally happened so fast. Like, I feel like we just had, I think I told you guys in the previous video, but I honestly feel like when we first brought him home and we laid him on the best in it, we literally had to, we used to have to put him all the way down so his feet could be like touching the bottom of the best in it. And now, literally, like about to like outgrow it. So, uh, yeah, he can't stretch and work, like Denny said. And so, with Amazon Prime Day happening, I was like, this is a perfect opportunity to look for a crib. So, we found this crib we also got the crib mattress and the crib bed sheets so i remember when i first um when i first got like when i first got pregnant we didn't really get a mattress because i wasn't sure like if we were gonna do a bassinet if we were gonna bed share and when i was pregnant i used to think like oh bed sharing is so easy i'm for sure gonna do it like it's gonna be like nothing but honestly like it scares me like no shame no shade against anyone who does it like i think it's great and we might even do it once he's a little bit bigger but right now bed sharing does scared me a little bit so i wanted to get the crib to have it um so that he could still sleep on the crib as much as possible you know uh so this is one of the bed sheets that i got him and then no 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 ahorita no me ladren se quedó dormido el milagro and then this is the other one that has like mountains and star or just mountains and trees so i got him two of this oh no did i get him two of the same ones yeah i did i got him two of the same ones because there there was like a lot of options but this one had the best reviews so i was like oh i just got him two of the same ones and then we'll see you know how it goes so we're gonna wash these i'm excited we're like it was crazy because when we first like recently we've been taking out of things out of the room that we haven't been using because when he was a newborn and obviously we're first time parents like everything was in the room like his bassinet the changing table actually all those things are still in there <laughs> but um yeah, we can probably like the like unassemble it, huh? Yeah, when they're a newborn, we for sure use the changing table and we for sure use the bassinet. But obviously he's outgrowing things and we're becoming like more experienced parents. So yeah, maybe we can take out the bassinet and the changing table today because it's looking a little bit crowded over there. There's not two people here, so one was breastfeeding. Nice. I have my scooter, but I don't know where I left it. Oh, I don't know where it is either. You don't see it? No, I don't know. I do not know where it is, sir. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm pretty much done. Uh, let me show you guys real quick how it looks. So we have the crib here, you know. There it is, there it is. Um, now I just need to put this part, which is same as that, as this, as this end. It just goes right here. You know, so basically, I guess the cool thing about this uh, crib is like um, it turns out it turns into like a toddler bed. So when he gets older, we can just leave it like this um, and he'll be able to just sleep on it, you know. Uh, but yeah, we're basically done. I think the reason why it tells you you need two people, it's because when you're setting up this part right here, you can you, you have this, right? You could do this by yourself. But then when it's time to do the other side, obviously it's hanging. So you need someone to hold it up for you, you know, and while you put in the screw. But I mean, if you, you could figure it out, you know. You don't need two people. You can figure it out. It's a little harder, but it's nothing you can't do, you know? But yeah, guys, what I did, well, the way I did it, I just, when I was having trouble, I put my crock on top, you know, and then leveled it up. It kind of brought it level, so it made it easier for me. And then same thing here, like, I just used my leg. Like, when it was here, I put my leg here, put that screw on, and then same thing on the other side. So it just, you know, you guys got to figure it out. So you don't need two people. I mean, it's easier, but it's okay. Let me put this side, um, this thing up, and then we'll show Stacy. Here is another thing we got, which is a bed bassinet. Like if you wanted to co-sleep with this in between you and your partner. Honestly, we never really used it, so don't recommend. I think as a first time parent, like I said before, you just get so many gadgets and you get like pulled into buying so many different things. Pero 
Now I know. Now I know. ¿Cómo se llama la moraleja? Now I know. Yes, sir. Sí, papi, diles, diles. Diles que ahora ya sé, pero antes no sabía porque era mamá primeriza. ¿Verdad? We're learning. We're learning, pa. We're learning. Ajá, we're learning. Tú y yo. Tú estás aprendiendo cómo ser bebé y yo estoy aprendiendo cómo ser mamá. Ajá. Y no sabemos. Diles que no sabemos cómo. Ay, no. Ser bebé es muy difícil. Ser bebé es muy difícil. ¿Verdad? Es difícil ser bebé. Es difícil. Ah. Sí, no, no tanto. No tanto. Bebé, ahorita me prestas la, la escoba, porfis. Thank you, Dad. Dile a papá. Thanks, Dad. ¿Cómo está, David? ¿Cómo está, viejón? Hey. Oh, nice. You're chilling. Hey. ¿Cómo le hacemos, pa? Cuando el viejo se enfrenta, ¿ah? Se bajaba. La 701. ¿Te gusta esa canción? Es cierto. Es cierto. Es cierto. Yes. Te dio hipo. No me gusta cuando te da hipo. No me gusta cuando te da hipo. A ver, sacarle la hipo. Hey guys, so I'm actually feeding SJ right now porque le dio hambre. And Denny is the one making the moves for us, which is what happens when you breastfeed. On demand, cuando el bebé quiere, el bebé recibe. Así es que, let me show you a little bit of the progress Denny's made. So, Just in everything on. <laughs> so, yes, ya no hay nada ahí al lado de nosotros. Now everything's clear. Mm -hmm. Clean the back. Mm -hmm. Allá tenemos el buró ahora. We still have to clean, like, everything. Like, don't think that it's gonna stay looking like that. From the clothes and stuff, but we ended up putting the lamp over there, the Alexa. I'll show you guys right now where I'm not breastfeeding. Santiago se les queda bien. All right, guys. She's coming out right on time. Oh my God. It looks so good. What do you think? Oh my god, it looks so good, baby. Wow, mira Santiago, tu puna, pa. We left that open for you so you can do the final touch. The colchón? Yeah. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Got a poopy diaper oh, right here. Nice. Uh, ¿Te lo cambio? Yeah. You want to put them like right there? <laughs> Bro. I just, I just caught this right now. One thing, <laughs> one thing about my husband is he's gonna catch anything I throw at him. <laughs> oh, that was scary. You put the clothes in the dryer? Yeah, it's Oh dry. my goodness, thank you so much, baby. A ver, papi. Oh, yes. Dile, ando fresco como lechuga, oh, dad. Yes, papa. Oh my God, it looks so good. Y no sobran tornillos, eh? No sobran tornillos, donde? That's funny. Okay, let me put you guys on there, right here. Your job. Thank you. I love my job. Oh, I will say this crib probably looks really short neck. Is this a normal size crib, do you think? Or that probably it's smaller, I think. Oh, okay, because... Yeah, it's pretty low, low key. It is, huh? No way a cortar el colchón. Yeah, I was going to tell you that right now, right now. You should lay it under and it could be like a SMR. ASMR. Oh, ASMR. Did it, guys. It looks good, huh? It does. Oh my god, my big boy. Yeah, did it cool that? <laughs> oh my oh. god, I'm in shock. <laughs> Why is your dad? Why is your dad? Should I get on it? No, no, no. I was about to tell you, no. Let's get on it. Oh my God. So you guys, I, we should put it next to on my side of the bed. Okay. So where the bassinet is right now, vamos a quitar el bassinet y vamos a poner la cuna. It looks amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's like your job would be to get the trash out. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyway, remember, guys, I was just telling you guys like it's cool to build stuff, but the thing is, like, we have to clean up after. But I have to. I have to. 
Okay, okay, okay. Te ayudo, te ayudo. Okay, we'll see, guys. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll carry the baby. Nah. <laughs> I have to put his changing table and the bassinet in his room. I know his room is another area of the house where we have to like go through and like either like donate things, put things away because obviously all of his baby clothes that no longer fit him are gonna be for his sibling one day. Whether if it's a boy, amazing. If it's a girl, I'm sorry, baby. We're gonna donate everything and I'm gonna get everything pink. Yeah, but uh, we still don't know if he's gonna have a brother or a sister someday. So we are keeping all of his baby clothes. Yeah, that's sure, sure. We tried it and it, it did. worked a couple of days, a couple of times. We asked yeah, it didn't work for like the long run. guys i just finished tidying up the room denny was able to put the crib together and then he put it inside the room we washed the crib sheet and basically i tied it up and got rid of a bunch of stuff so now it's time for the grand room my big boy is going in his crib i am not okay girl so let me show you wow Qué gran diferencia como estaba. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> so as you guys can tell, we got rid of the changing table that was right there. We got rid of the bedside bassinet that was over there. And basically we ended up moving the bureau from over there to here. This is our lounge chair, honestly. I remember one time I went to Blanca J's house and she was giving me a tour of her house. And when I went through her breastfeeding chair, like her lounge chair, she, I remember I was pregnant. She was like, make sure you pick one that you really like because you're gonna be spending a lot of time on that chair. And I was like, me reí nomás así super X, pero en realidad, once you start breastfeeding, you truly realize how much time you spend on your breastfeeding chair, whether you have a chair or like a pillow or a bed or whatever works for you. But this one has definitely seen, we've spent a lot of time on it. I remember when I was first breastfeeding and when SJ was first born, I would have to breastfeed every two hours, right? And even if you like wouldn't get up, I, ha I would have to get up and wake him up. And basically what I would do if like Denny was sleeping or anything, I would turn on the TV and I would turn on Grace and Frankie, which is a TV show on Netflix. It has like seven seasons. Eh, literal, me lo volé de una because I would watch Grace and Frankie like 24 hours while I was breastfeeding so I could keep myself awake. And I would sit right there on that couch. But yeah, if you're pregnant, definitely make sure you get one that's super comfortable. And yeah, so we ended up putting the crib here. Here is the grand reveal. I absolutely loved this bed sheet. It is so cute, you guys so this is my side of the bed as you guys can really tell and this is a rail that we bought off amazon i used to think it was a little bit taller so when sj does start like getting up from out of bed and he starts like rolling over and stuff i'm probably gonna get like a taller one because this one was definitely not tall enough honestly i should really start reading reviews or measurements even though i don't know how to measure anything which is why i end up getting things that are way too small <laughs> but yeah um this is the crib i love how it looks I left a little space for myself over there to put my charger for my phone and my Apple Watch. Aquí está su traje de astronauta, como le venimos a llamar ahora, even though obviously that's not the name. And I'm gonna put that there. But something else I wanted to do is now that he has an official crib, we can put this toy on there. We couldn't really put it on the bassinet because it had nowhere to attach it to. So let's put it there. Good morning guys, welcome back. Welcome to day two. Oh my God, so <clears throat> the crib you guys was such a success. Oh my goodness, so it's just actually still sleeping. Well, not he woke up around 7 a.m. So I think he went to sleep last night with Danny around 12 and then woke up around 7 a.m. which is a really long stretch. And then we were awake for from seven to like nine. And basically what we did is um, I play, I changed his diaper. I love mornings with him because that's like when we like, he's very talkative, we're talking, he's laughing. 
amanece muy risueño, you know? And then we actually went outside, we laid in the backyard, it was fun. And then after he was like, okay, I'm, I wanna go to sleep. So I put him to sleep while he was breastfeeding. I got to edit a video. So we're having like a really productive morning, you guys. Right now I lay him down. Usually he loves contact naps, but I lay him down in his crib and he like has stayed asleep for like the good 30, 45 minutes without me touching him. What I think it was, you know, I, I think we should have transitioned to the crib a little bit sooner because the bedside bassinet, something they don't tell you just in case, you know, you're gonna have a baby. The bedside bassinet, the mattress is really, really freaking hard. Wish it should, wish which it should be and the the infant mattress which is the one that i got us it's a little bit softer it's not a soft mattress at all whatsoever i think he feels a difference between the crib and the bedside bassinet especially because our bed is a firm mattress as well so i think he probably feels like he's on our bed and maybe that's why he's sleeping a little bit longer i don't know but it's been a success so far. I think the room looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks so clean. We got rid of everything that we weren't using anymore. So I feel great, girl. Like clean space, clean mind. Um, you know, it's just less clutter in my mind for me. Like, I don't know what it is, but whenever my space is clean, even though please ignore this right now. I'm working on one area at a time because mom life. Um, but yeah, whenever like I have a clean space, I just feel more like motivated and stuff and better. So let's get ready. This is what my getting ready entails. I have to pump, do my makeup, do my hair, which I already did. And then um, leave the breast milk ready for SJ for when he wakes up. And then what else do I have to do? Oh, I already drank my fiber. My fiber, I have to eat breakfast. And then I think that's it. And I am actually surprised at how much milk we got right now because because you guys already know I have not been producing a lot, but let's see. We basically got like three y feriecitas. So si se las voy a dar todas para que las tenga listas y disponibles para el señor. Señor, did he end up liking the the nipples, the new ones? Um, I don't know. I haven't just been grabbing, I haven't checked. You haven't been checking which one's which. I'm so dead. Uh, I put away two of them. I'll put away one. You put away one of them. Okay, well, mom's gonna go to the gym. I love you, boys. I love you. I love you with my heart. Te amo. Have fun. I'll turn it on right now. Okay, ahorita los veo, eh? Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Le ponemos el aire a. Oh. 71. Also, by the way, the Patreon website opened up for the Apple like a Joe website opened up for Patreon today. So the patrons are already shopping and getting 15% off, um, which makes me so, so excited. I've been obsessed with these earrings. I, I'm sure you guys have noticed. I've been wearing them like every day. They're stainless steel. They look super cute. I just love something about a little small dangling hoop that I feel like it just makes you look like so expensive, high end. They were keeping it light with the jewelry. I just have these earrings. The next necklace um yeah outfit is my shirt is from h&m um my shorts do you like my shorts yeah, i'll let you know about these soon i mean my shoes these are the I don't remember the name. It's a name weird. They were on sale for fifty dollars, and I ended up getting them, so I got a deal. <laughs> Hi, mom. Okay, you guys, as obviously you can tell, that was my mom. And part of my daily routine, for the most part daily, like at least five times a week, I talk to my mom on the phone. She always asks me about Santiago. And honestly, you guys, now that I'm a mom, I can tell you not to guilt trip anyone, you know, cada quien. Pero talk to your moms. If you have your mom available, if you have your mom present, if you have a good relationship with your mom and you had a mom that was loving and kind to you, girl, Nobody loves you like that woman. Now that I'm a mom, like, si antes yo tenía un amor enorme por mi madre, you guys, ahora la quiero más, literal. Like, now I tell Danny, literal, I tell Danny, I'm like, I don't even love you more than your mom. Like, hands down, I know mi suegra lo quiere más que yo. O sea, yo amo a mi esposo, pero mi suegra absolutely would do anything for him. I, as a wife, would not do anything for him because, you know, I'm, a, I'm his wife, not his mom. But his mom, I know would do anything for him. Just like me, I absolutely would do anything for my child. Nobody loves you in this world more. Or, no yeah for real nobody loves you in this world more than your mom so yeah i make time to talk to her all the time and you guys now that i see the relationship that she has with santiago i know la amo más literal she loves santiago so much
much. It's so cute. It's the cutest thing. We're home, babe. Um, okay, guys, so we just got home, and since we're in the theme of SJ, I actually got the last packages of our Amazon Prime Prime Day deliveries. Some stuff took a little bit longer to get here than others. I think it's because probably so many people order that they just had like a hard time getting it all to people really fast. So I want to show you guys because I really have been like breaking my head, and I say that entre comillas, trying to find like toys that are appropriate for his age. Because I feel like if you've never had a baby, it's really hard to know what's like appropriate appropriate for your baby and then if you go to like target you don't really find a lot of toys that are newborn to zero to three months appropriate right like i feel like the majority of toys at like supermarkets are typically like six months or a year and up um so i've been trying to find more like developmental toys if you will that are appropriate for his age for example babies can't see in color when they're first born and i believe they don't really get their full eyesight until they're around six months so right now sj can probably see some color but not all like you can see the brightest of colors like red yellow I actually just unbox this right now so i have him on his baby lounger this thing you hang it from the lounger and look it's like black and white Tiene la sonajita, so if i rock them got him that black and white those black and white toys to hang from like his car seat from this baby lounger because le llama mucho la atención like literal ahorita está entrado así the thing that i got him for tummy time um he's not like the biggest i don't think any baby's the biggest fan of tummy time but if you try to make it sensory i heard that it works really well for them so we actually haven't tried this but i did want to show it to you guys aqua mat so you lay the baby here and supuestamente like the sensory aspect of it calls their attention the toy that i got him this one actually says that it's for babies three years and older but the way that i saw it being used on tiktok is you put it in front of them when they're doing tummy time you know like le les puede llamar la atención so let me show you how it works this thing is like funny look first of all the music oh <laughs> look so as soon as it runs into something, <laughs> looking at me like, what is going on, mom? It's just like, mom, what the? F ¿Qué es eso, papi? Viste el cangrejo, cangrejito playero, que camina en la arena. So those are the two toys that I got him right now, and then the third one that I'm really excited to open with you guys, playmat gym. I don't really know how to call it, but este me llamó la atención because I really like really bright toys for SJ. Like when they're first born, like I told you guys, it's good to have them use like black and white toys because that's what they can see. But very bright colors will also start calling their attention as they get a little bit older. So I found this Disney playmat, and it is literally so bright. It's it's Finding Nemo theme, so I'm so excited. Like